we have around 21% of the uh, active population in, in un unemployed, and this is too much for uh, one country, especially because uh, we come not very, of a very low rate of unemployment, but uh, of, of high rate. 8.5% was the best uh, situation we had in the, in the recent past. Uh, this has very important consequences from the economic, social, political and human aspect of the, of the, of the, of the unemployed. Uh, I would say it's a failure as a country. We said sometimes, well, this is a problem of the recession. When we come out of the recession, the problem will be solved. This is not real, real so. We have a very important structural problem of the labor market in Spain. This problem is bigger for, uh, for young people. And this is also especially, especially hard because the injustice and because of the lack of use of this of the resource and the, uh, the problem that means, this means for the future of these persons and the future of the of the economy we have also a very high uh, rate uh, of uh, of uh, temporal contracts in the in the temporary contracts in the spanish economy uh, this is not good uh, temporary contracts are good for the beginning of the uh, professional relationship, of the job relationship, but uh, it's not good as a long-term solution. And our problem is that we have many, too many uh, temporary contracts uh, and, and also th they affect more to young people. 47% of the young people has now temporary contracts. This is not good because many times these contracts are, are, uh, uh, make a change from one to the other and then it's very difficult to change to a definitive uh, long-term contract. Uh, the difference between these dif 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 different uh, contracts is mainly the cost of uh, firing people. These costs are very hard in the Spanish economy as in other economies, but in the Spanish economy it, it's very important. Uh, uh, this means that the, the companies have incentives to uh, stay with uh, temporary contracts uh, jumping from one to the other and never coming to a, to a um, long-term contract. In fact, less than 8% of the short-term contracts are converted into a long-term contract. And this, this is a, a big problem because these people means less uh, loyalty to the company, less investment in education, less training, less commitment, commitment in, the, in the company, so it's very difficult to improve productivity and competitiveness of the economy due to this. The first point for me is to, uh, to simplify this structure of, of, of contracts. We have now 17 kinds of contracts, there are too many for an, for an economy. We need probably one, only one, with low uh, firing costs, eh? probably a slightly uh, increasing in time, but one is enough and it, it could simplify very much the panorama of the Spanish labor market. Second, we need to maintain the protection of the unemployed people during the crisis. This is not good for the long term, but now we, with the possibilities of having long, uh, a high number of people unemployed during, during long periods, means that we need to maintain this during some times. Third, we need to modernize the uh, collective bargaining scheme. And giving more importance to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the bargaining at the level of the company and not at the level of the, of the sector. And finally, we put in Spain uh, not much emphasis in, po in active policies of, of employment. I think they, they are very important. We put too much emphasis probably in uh, reductions of the, uh, of the payroll taxes. And I think it's better to put more emphasis in the unemployed person than in the cost of the, of the employment, helping people, for example, to develop better uh, training and education programs. And the connection of the um, unemployment insurance with this uh, structure of active policies of employment.